Hey! <laughs> Welcome back to the second half of L.A. Today. We missed you. <laughs> I'm Mike O'Connell, and I'm saying this world would be a much, much better place for us to live in if all of us would just reach out and touch someone, but not in an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here with a great guy, a very near, very dear friend of mine, Mr. Angostino of Angostino's Restaurant. Angelinos! Yeah. <laughs> Just what does it take to be a big success in the restaurant business? Me! <laughs> but seriously, what is the secret? Well, uh, the secret is having a good chef. And we, we happen to have a great chef. The best young chef in town. As a matter of fact, this young man is someone that I personally discovered and trained. His name is Jack Tripper. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's bring that visiting chef out here. Let's meet and greet Jack Tripper. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jack Tripper, and today I'll be making poached salmon in aspic. But before I begin, I would like you to meet my two beautiful assistants, Janet Wood and Terry Alden. Terry here is a nurse. I thought she might come in handy in case I have to doctor some sauces. <laughs> Doesn't she have a lovely smile? <laughs> and Janet is right here. <laughs> It's so rare to find an assistant these days who can be enjoyed as a main course or just a cold snack. Of course. Of course. I'm sure that Chef Tripper was referring to the... Uh... The uh, poached salmon. What, the poached salmon. The poached salmon. Right. All right. <laughs> Is there any more majestic sight than your poached salmon? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> its tender pink meat will melt in your mouth if you remember to poach it over a slow flame for no more than two hours. Oh, uh, uh, Chef Tripper. <laughs> Wouldn't it get done faster if um, you cooked it over a higher heat? Yes, it would, Janet. Oh. But by cooking it at a low temperature, your salmon will be made in Taiwan. <laughs> the way you serve your salmon at Angelino's? Yes, I'm very glad you asked me that, Janet. <laughs> Is our salmon special? Yes! 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 Jack, uh, Jack, uh, perhaps this would be a time to uh, show the people how, how to make the aspic. The aspic? The, <clears throat> the aspic. Right, yes. The aspic, that century-old gelatin, the three ingredients we will need are beef consomme, <laughs> gelatin, and, of course, the cognac. <laughs> Are you 
Kitty. This is great. Chef Tripper, what are the measurements? <laughs> The ingredients are two cups of beef consomme and then one tablespoon one tablespoon of gelatin. Stir over a low flame until the gelatin is completely dissolved, and then one tablespoon of cognac. If you want to taste a really delicious post salmon, take it from somebody who knows. This is a great aspic. Jim. But your time's about up. More. No, I'd love to let you finish, but I don't think your recipe would conform to the building code. <laughs> we'll be back after this commercial. Excuse me. Ripper! What have you done to me? I'm ruined! Finished! Oh, and as for you... I'm fired. Congratulations! <laughs> At least you got something right today. <laughs> Jack. Jack, come on. Getting fired is not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. You should be used to it by now. <laughs> I'll never get hired again, not after making such a fool of myself. Oh, oh, Jack, don't be ridiculous. Look, nobody even saw you. Yeah, nobody watches a local show like that. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Yeah, of course I'm right. Hi. Jack, you still in town? <laughs> what? Well, you got more guts than I have. I would have gone straight from that TV show to Tahiti. Cut it out, Larry. Nobody even saw Jack. What, are you kidding? The entire gang down at the Beagle saw it. Oh, no. How did they find out I was on? I told them. <laughs> what did they say? Nothing. They were all too busy laughing. <laughs> And that's not all. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Terry, I loved your smile. <laughs> no one watches that show. Oh, a few losers at the Regal Beagle. So what? Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. What's doing in San Diego? <laughs> Could you stop laughing? Just a local show, huh? Mom? 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 Will you call me back when you stop laughing? Uh, good night. Come again. Hello? No, no, I'm sorry, but we're all booked up for the rest of the week. Yes, yes, it seemed quite a lot of people watched that show and loved the chef. <laughs> yeah. Tripper! Don't worry, I'm just going to clear out my locker. You really made a mess of things this morning, didn't you? Yeah, I know. Wait! Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> Even me. I'm probably making a big mistake right now. Huh? But if you really do want to come back... Oh, I do, I do, I do! At a $25 pay cut, well, I'll take a chance. Only a $25 pay cut? Oh, Mr. Angelino, you're too kind. <laughs> well, you know me, me and my big soft heart. Right? <laughs> well, okay, okay, get into the kitchen and start cooking, son. Thank you, sir. Uh, use the service entrance in the back. It's, it's quicker this way. No! It's him! <laughs> Mr. Tripper, I saw you on TV this morning. You were wonderful. Really? I drove all the way from Encino just hoping to meet you. You were so funny. <laughs> well, thank you God. very much. <laughs> Excuse me one second. <laughs> uh, Jack, I, I, uh, I forgot to mention it seems a few people watched the show this morning. Mr. Angelino. Yes, Jack. We were discussing my $25 pay raise. Raise? I didn't say raise. Well... Maybe I'll just go clear out my locker. Of course I said raise. I said a $25 raise. And every other weekend off. Forget it. 
You mean, you don't want me to work here anymore? Oh. <laughs> of course I do. Why else would I give you every other weekend off? Oh. I'm going to get you for this one, Tripper. It's great to be back. <laughs>